Have you ever wondered how bridges are built in the water? How those pillars stood firm and carried heavy loads on a daily basis? This video gives an insight of how bridges are built in the water. The Japanese designers and engineers tested their designs by building complex models. These were tested in a wind tunnel which helped them refine the design so that a bridge could cope with the severe weather and a typhoon conditions. The photograph opposite shows 40 meter long model, set up for a variety of scientific tests. After rigorous testing had taken place, construction of the real bridge could begin. Each of the two foundations were filled with 265 cubic meters of concrete. However, ordinary concrete does not mix with the water, and so the Japanese had to develop special concrete which was capable of mixing with seawater. The bridge was constructed in 110 meters deep water with tidal current of 4.5 meters per second. Wind speeds of 80 meters per second with a potential 8.5 Richter magnitude earthquake. 150 kilometers from the site had to be considered by the bridge owners. The Honshu Shikoku Bridge Authority. Geology of the bridge site included layered alluvium and alluvium deposit over what is called the Hardakashi of Kobe Layer.
Finger cables, ropes, were factory fabricated from bundle, 7 mm diameter, 180 kg parallel wire strands. Because the higher strain wire was used, two hanger ropes were required to support the panel points of the stiffening truss grinders. Steel stiffening truss grinder panels were fabricated off site and transported by bars to the bridge tower piers. Lifted to the roadway elevation and transported by travel or train to the proper location for connection to suspended ropes. Several unique technologies were developed to support the design and construction of the suspension bridge. The aerodynamic stability of the long suspension bridges possessed major challenges to designers. Other innovation resulting from the wind tunnel testing including installation of the vertical plates at the bottom center of the highway deck to increase the flutter speed. Methods of improved prediction of the flutter speed and gust response will be used in future bridge designs. Rather than using traditional cable spinning methods for unstructured cable fabrication, individual parallel wire, strands wire fabricated off-site, transported to the bridge site, and strung parallel to each other to form the main cable. The advantage of using the new method is that the stands are continuous from the anchorage to anchorage and eliminate an in-place spinning of cables, thus reducing the probability of the accident occurring. To use the parallel wire strand metal, a unique cable squeezing machine was designed to form the parallel strands in a finer circular shape. The use of the higher strand wires reduced the number of strand requires, thus saving erection time and the cost.